hi everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself so today we are going to make these uh, heart shaped uh, baskets or trays the pattern is very easy and you can make this baskets in a couple of minutes so or you can make different sizes of baskets based on the yarn size and the crochet hook you use so for this i have used uh, cotton yarn and i have doubled the strands to make it a bit uh, of a bigger size and to make a smaller size you can use single strand and to make it even larger you can use bulky yarn so as you can see we are using double strand of yarn here and the hook i'm using is 5 mm hook so we're going to first start off by making a slip knot Uh, insert your hook into the slip knot and then chain 11 so we are making here a chain of 11 chain 1 chain 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 <coughs> 10 and 11 now um, on the third chain from the top one two three on the third chain we are going to make six double crochets now the chain of three is also considered as a double crochet so in the first stitch uh, we will be making seven double crochets which includes the uh, chain of three also so this is our first round we're going to work on the top part of the chain and also on the bottom side of the chain as you will see so this is our first stitch and into that we are making six double crochets now into the second stitch we are going to make two double crochets so make two double crochets in the next stitch so in the comments also i have provided the number of stitches the ones in the bracket means we are making those stitches in one stitch so two double crochets in the second stitch now the next five stitches we are going to make five these double crochets together so insert hook into the first stitch pull through only first two loop insert into the second stitch pull through only first two loops insert into the third stitch pull through only two loops similarly insert into the fourth stitch pull through only two loops and insert into the fifth and the last stitch and pull through the two loops you should have six loops in your hook by now and now you should be pulling a loop through all the loops here so you can pull through two at a time and pull through all the loops <coughs> so this is a five double crochet together then together so into the next uh, stitch we are going to do again two double crochets in it so what we did on the other side we started off with a seven double crochet and then a two double crochet so after this five dc together again we are doing this two double crochets to uh, in the same stitch and then in the last stitch so now we are left with the last stitch into the last stitch we are going to make seven double crochets so into the same stitch make seven double crochets So one double crochet this is the <coughs> second double crochet this is the third double crochet the fourth double crochet fifth double crochet the sixth double crochet and the <coughs> seventh double crochet 
so we have worked on the top uh, part of the chain so it had uh, it has nine uh, stitches so we are working we'll be working now on the bottom part and we'll start off with the same stitch in which we made the seven double crochets so we'll start there by making one double crochet in the same stitch where we made seven double crochets so this is one double crochet then into the next one make another double crochet so we are going to make four double crochets and we'll be making one double crochet in each stitch so this is second this is the third double crochet in the third stitch the third stitch of the bottom side then <coughs> this is the fourth stitch and we made the fourth double crochet in the fourth stitch now in the fifth stitch we are going to make five double crochet in the same stitch so make five double crochet in the fifth stitch so the uh, pattern may not be that stiff at this point but as you continue making and making more rows you will uh, more rounds you will see that it will uh, hold its shape you can also use a stiffener to make uh, the basket hold its shape even better so we made five double crochets on the fifth stitch and we have four more stitches left as you can see so into the next four stitches just make one double crochet in each this is the next second double crochet in the second stitch this is the third double crochet on the third stitch and the very last or the fourth double crochet you will make it in the very first stitch where we had made the seven double crochets so make the fourth double crochet in the very first stitch and as you remember as you can remember we started off with a chain of three so in the chain of three on the third chain so this might be a bit difficult so the third chain try to find it out and under the v insert your hook and make a slip stitch so this is the end of our first round and as you can see the shape is also started to show so we're going to chain three and we consider it as a first double crochet now make two double crochet in the same stitch so this is uh, round number two so round number two uh, we are making three double crochets in the first stitch which includes the chain of three now in the next stitch make two double crochet in the same stitch into the next stitch make three double crochet second stitch and this is the third double crochet into the next one make <coughs> two double crochets and into the next one make another two double crochets and into the next one make one double crochet in the next uh, five stitches we are going to make five double crochets together like how we did in the previous round so you will be uh, yarning over and inserting the hook into each of the stitches and we will be pulling through two loops only and by the end of uh, the five stitches you will have six loops in the hook then we'll be pulling through all the loops after that again what we did on the other side we're going to repeat the same 
but in a reverse manner so we will start off with one double crochet in the first stitch then into the <coughs> next stitch you're going to make two double crochets make uh, two more double crochets in the next stitch into the next stitch make three double crochets so make three double crochets in the same stitch so the pattern is uh, also available in the comments here so whichever are um, uh, stitches are inside the bracket means you're going to make uh, that many stitches in one single stitch and if it is not in the bracket means you're going to make those stitches in each of the stitch so as you can see if uh, three double crochet is within the bracket means you're going to make those three double crochets in a single stitch so made uh, three double crochets again in the last stitch and as you can see the top part is done <coughs> now we're going to work on the bottom side so we are going to make seven double crochets in the next seven stitches this is the first one in the first stitch second one in the second stitch the third one the fourth double crochet fifth double crochet six double crochet and the seventh double crochet in the seventh stitch now on the eighth stitch that we have we are going to make five double crochet on the same stitch so this is one double crochet make the second double crochet in the same stitch third double crochet in the same stitch fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet now we will be left with seven more stitches till we reach the first stitch again so in the last seven stitches we are going to make one double crochet in each so this is the first double crochet the second double crochet <coughs> the third double crochet on the third stitch fourth double crochet on the fourth stitch the fifth double crochet on the fifth stitch the sixth double crochet on the sixth stitch and the seventh double crochet will be on the very that is the base of the chain three so after that we have the chain of three here and similar to the previous round on the third chain under the two loops we'll insert our hook and we are going to make a slip stitch so make a slip stitch on the third chain of the very first stitch of the round so the base here is done so this is the base of the basket that we are uh, making uh, after that we are going to chain one and here uh, we are going to place a marker so that we know that this is the starting of this uh, round because this is uh, this round will be a single crochet and it will be difficult to identify the first stitch so it's better to use a marker or you can use a yarn of different color then <coughs> we are going to just make one single crochet in each of the stitches so uh, for this round we are going to work only on the back loop so as you can see each stitch has uh, a front loop and a back loop so for this round we're just going to work only on the back loop and uh, there'll be a total of uh, 46 uh, stitches so on each stitch just make one single crochet and uh, 
as you continue making these uh, single crochets you will see that uh, the pattern of the basket will start to appear and uh, the uh, heart is no longer flat and you can see you are getting some height to the basket you can trim up the <coughs> tail yarn in the center and continue working on the uh, stitches and work only on the back loop So um, uh, continue making these uh, single crochets in the back loop till we reach our first stitch or we till reach the marked stitch. So here we are almost at the end of this uh, third round and once you reach the marked stitch after the last stitch uh, insert your hook into the marked stitch which is the first stitch of our row of our round so insert the hook into the first stitch and make a slip stitch so for the next round chain one again and the only difference of this round from the previous is we are going to make our stitches into both the loops so make one single crochet in each stitch and since we have a total of 46 uh, stitches we will be having a total of 46 single crochets by the end of this round so continue making uh, single crochets on each stitch till we reach our first stitch so the first stitch for uh, this round also you can uh, use the marker and uh, mark the stitch if you find it difficult to identify your first stitch so mark the first stitch and continue this pattern till you reach the marker or till you reach the first stitch so this is our uh, fourth round so uh, the next uh, round will be a repetition of what we just did so we're just going to slip stitch to the first stitch and then make a chain of one and after that just make single crochets on each of the stitch so uh, if you want to increase the height of the basket you just need to repeat this same um, pattern of this round uh, till you are satisfied with the height of your basket so i am going to conclude uh, the video with this round itself because it's pretty much the same uh, if you are going to increase the height of the basket you just need to make one single crochet in each stitch and the total number of single crochet will be 46 uh, stitches So when you reach the first stitch, uh, like before, we are going to slip stitch and if you want to increase the height, continue this pattern for one or two more rounds and if not, you can chain one, uh, pull the uh, yarn tightly and then pull it tight, form a knot and then trim off the tail yarn. So here our basket is done and as you can see it it is now in the shape of a heart if you want the shape to hold even more better you can use um, a stiffener a fabric stiffener so here the tail yarn is here if you want you can use a needle to stitch it into the existing stitches 
I am using a crochet hook here uh, if you plan on using a needle do leave a longer tail yarn so that you can insert it into a needle and just stitch it into the existing stitches so when you are stitching it into the existing stitches just make sure that now uh, uh, you are going with the flow of the stitches and you and, and the yarn tail yarn does not look odd in uh, into the stitches so once you're satisfied that you have stitched it in for quite some time just trim off the extra tail yarn and here our uh, heart basket or tray is ready uh, as you can see <laughs> these two baskets this one has more rounds compared to the red, red one but uh, i have used double strands so the sizes are the same only the height of the basket is different and also this uh, maroon basket i have used a fabric stiffener so it's it holds its shape better than the red one so anyway guys i do hope you enjoyed today's video do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications on new videos and give a thumbs up uh, to this video if it was useful thank you for watching and have a good day